Well, obviously, I'm here to support our candidates in the uh, assembly and the council elections, and uh, we're in the upper part of the Ormer Road, which obviously is new ground for Sinn Féin, but clearly shows that Sinn Féin is a party that knows no borders, uh, and we're canvassing for votes in every single section of our community. Uh, campaign's going really well. We have first-class candidates in this area, and we're very, very optimistic and hopeful that we're going to get a good result from South Belfast. Sinn Féin within the South of the city have been engaging with the women's sector and various women's organisations looking at what needs they have and what impacts on them within society. So ranging from issues around childcare, health provision, the lack of female representation within the South Belfast constituency and Sinn Féin have developed a document um, which will work at not only council level but also within the assembly in terms of what we're pledging to do over the next four years in terms of trying to rectify some of the ills that are there in terms of the lack of representation of women in politics and in civic um, life and also looking at resources that can go into the women's sector within the south of the city. As a young woman candidate canvassing for Sinn Féin, <laughs> what difference does it make when you knock the door? I think it's crucial when a woman sees another woman actually being profiled and also taking on a leadership role within the South Belfast because it has been very male dominated over the years and that's why there hasn't been the focus put on the needs and the role of women within the south of the city and I think Sinn Féin are taking a progressive step forward in having a women um, candidate put to the fore and addressing the needs of women. And the importance of voting on May 5th? I think it's crucial to vote on May 5th, put your um, vote on the ballot box, vote for Sinn Féin number one in terms of uh, progressing the equality agenda.